An overnight break-in caught on surveillance video on West Grand Avenue in Humboldt Park. You can see the vehicle ram into the garage of Jordan Automotive around 3.30 this morning, clearing some space for suspects to walk right in. We've been hearing that they've been stealing uh, license plates, uh, programmers, uh, keys from other shops, and uh, you know we keep our keys, our plates, uh, anything of value to them, we keep it locked up. Because of that, you can see the three suspects not having much success. The video showing them walk around wearing a mask with weapons in hand while checking some of the cars and looking for keys or other valuables. After coming up empty handed, the suspects run out of the shop and leave in two different vehicles. The shop owner tells us he does have security cameras and alarm system in place, but all of this happened so fast that it really didn't matter. The suspects getting in and out of here within just a minute or two and you see the damage they leave behind here. The shop telling us this garage will cost about seven to ten thousand dollars to fix. It disrupts the business. Uh, as you could see, we can't um, we can't have any vehicles come in or come out, and uh, it's just uh, inconvenience. Uh, not to mention uh, uh, the cost of uh, repairing and you know the downtime. Ziada says he's heard from other auto shops in the city who have seen similar burglaries, looking for those temporary plates, which are often used on stolen vehicles to commit other crimes. It's a problem for these small shops, but the business owners aren't sure what else the city can do to stop it. I think it's not the city that should do anything about it. I think, uh, you know, shops like us, you know, if we uh, secure uh, the keys, uh, secure any programmers, um, any license plates, then there wouldn't be anything of value for these thieves to go after.